So let's make some noise for our first poet of the night. Clap it up, y'all, for Akeem Kemi. Hey. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? I'm fantastic, I'll tell you that. Uh, this is my first time uh, at VIP. Um, hype. Um, go by the name of Hakeem Komet. Um, and this is what I'm going to do for y'all. No, you good, bro. Sure. There's a reason it's called soul. We take the pain and put it into the process, like the blues or food. Using our spirit to paint the picture, connecting with the universal groove, so we never quite fit into the world of men. Always behind in the race is a top dollar, but at the end of the day, it's apparent when we're honest, because the first will be last, and the last will be first, and what would you rather have? The heavens or the earth? For now, we got soul. Wary of claiming covenant with God, wary of claiming covenant with God assuring access to heaven, we compete with indigenous people and Jews for whose straws are shorter. A soul painful race of the masochist and macabre, meekly miring in the sorrow of this world at the promise of a posthumous prize for our faith. We hope and pray and wait. Bated breath, expecting that the outcome of our collective fate, because there's still milk and honey and eternal bliss on level one of the seven. That's why it's called soul. The inspiration for mothers and grandmothers and aunties and cousins to tell us to seek justice rather than revenge even when their sons and daughters are stolen from them, whether by those corrupted and misguided souls in their own communities or a coward with a badge protected by sadistic state immunity, they know there's more to be lost when you take rather than forgiving. That we should be cautious of the hate we give little infants and children. They advise with an eye toward peace and harmony in the realm beyond the living. The same reason why young men who've only known struggle and death never leave the house without a cross around their neck. Or saying the Lord's Prayer while loading up a tech but why they're so adamant by getting their due respect? To live in the womb of a world that despises and rebukes you is a harrowing test. That's why it's called soul. We weren't cursed with the cunning to conquer the globe. We aren't disillusioned enough to think that we're chosen. Through all we've endured, it's God's grace that keeps us sane and not hopeless. We make a science out of submission to the Lord's vision, and sometimes we don't even know it. Even when we stray from the word, we stay tethered to one day return to the knowledge that's in our hearts. That's why it's called soul. So we pray for you, lay hands on you, feed you in silence, nourishing body and spirit, lest wanton words bring tears to the eyes. We place trust in the plants and herbs and berries and juices provided us on this earth as if akin to the sun-kissed skin that adorns our flesh. Or if melanin was a physical evidence of the touch of God's breath. No, we are not quiet. We worship him out loud so everyone knows we return to him in joy and in death. We hoop and holler and shout and dance and sing and scream his praises. We huddle together in his houses, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, foot to foot, heart to heart. Even if sometimes out of pure desperation. That's why we're most imitated, Grammy nominated, hotel accommodated, barbershop player hated. All of y'all bootlegged it, but we know who made it. That's why it's called soul. So we sometimes find ourselves trapped on earth the same way our spirits are trapped in our bodies. Painfully aware of our temporal mortality. We don't need the laws of man to understand morality or what it means to be free. Above and beyond it all, we believe. Our place on earth is far less important than holy humility. We're trying to live life in the sight of God's memory. That's why it's called soul. Thank you. Yeah.